My name's Ben, and today we're going to walk you around this stunning 2022 Porsche Macan GTS. Uh, this particular example is just two owners from new, and it's covered by Porsche main dealer warranty until July of 2025. It's finished in the very popular Volcano Grey Metallic with the black leather and Alcantara GTS interior package. And we'll walk you around the car, point out some of the lovely options over and above a standard car. And we'll start at the front end. And the first thing to point out is the beautiful LED headlights. So you've got the four powerful LED units in the corner with the one uh, big unit in the center. And you've even got a Porsche logo, like the detail in headlights is very clever with the Porsche logo inside the unit there. The massive uh, air intakes for this facelift McCann. So you've got uh, quite a lot of differences on this later generation being a 22 plate and the park sensors hidden very nicely in the lower part of the front bumper there. Coming around the side, we've got these lovely big multi-spoke GTS wheels. So the 21 inch uh, wheels with the full color Porsche crest in the centers and the red brake calipers with the Porsche logo on them behind those very nicely. Uh, coming down the side, all black uh, window surrounds and privacy glass in the rear three quarters. And then if I open the door and you have a look inside at the leather and Alcantara GTS interior pack. So extended leather across the top of the dashboard and then the half Alcantara seats with the black stitching as well and the GTS embossed in the headrest. And then we've got a large opening glass panoramic roof up above the uh, passengers inside the car. So a very important option there that will slide all the way back. There's also a sunshade on there as well and then the McCann GTS door entry seals down the bottom there. And then coming into the back, if you have a look in the back as well, you'll see plenty of space in the back of the car and it's just made that much more light uh, and airy inside because of that panoramic roof. There's a separate temperature control for the rear passengers as well, so it is a free zone climate control. And you can see that roof there again. And then coming around the back of the car, being a GTS, we've got the slightly different spoiler design at the top here. So there is a full sort of air uh, gap there, if you like. It is a complete gap. It's not fake and it's very nice styling. And then the full length light bar across the back of the car with the Porsche logo in satin black. And then being a GTS, the quad exhaust pipes finished in black as well. It is a switchable sports exhaust system on this car. And Porsche hide the boot button very nicely just under the wiper blade there and then a very reasonably sized boot and some extra storage underneath the boot floor there as well. So very practical car, a button there just to shut the boot down, a reverse camera hidden just above the number plate as well. And then coming around the driver's side, I'll jump in the car and we'll go through some of the interior options for you. So starting on the driver's door card, you'll see that GTS interior pack with the Alcantara across the armrest here, leather everywhere else you look, and then four-way electrically adjustable seats with driver memory settings there as well power folding door mirrors and then all electrically uh, operated windows and boot button there as well and then the bose sound system down on the tweeter at the bottom of the door there a very important option and i'll turn the car on and we'll discuss some of the features so we've got the three liter engine fire is into life and then we've got an adjustable steering column so up down in and out all adjustable very easily from the lever down there and then coming to the steering wheel it's a three spoke steering wheel and then on the right hand side you can control the screen on the right hand side it is a heated steering wheel as well so if i push the button heated steering wheel on comes on on that right hand side some big metal shift paddles behind for if you're driving the car in manual sports mode and then as part of the sports chrono package which obviously gives you the chronograph on the top of the dashboard we do have the mode switch on the steering wheel so i can flick this round sport sport plus and an individual mode there as well so it's very usable and then if you push the button you do get 20 seconds of sport response so that's full power for 20 seconds if you need to overtake somebody at the push of a button and then down the left hand side we've got a cruise control stalk behind the steering wheel there as well and then in the center porsche's pcm infotainment system so this is wireless apple carplay uh, it will do android auto as well i believe and then porsche's own navigation system here you can mess about with various car settings in the in the menus here for the lights etc and then if i come back to home pop the car into reverse you'll see that reverse camera we talked about before as well and you've got front and rear park assist on the left hand side there and i'll just put that back into park and then coming down the center obviously the climate control zones for the front passengers here heated seats for driver and passenger and you've got these haptic buttons on this sort of gloss black display down here which is very clever so when you turn the car off this all disappears and it's just basically like gloss black plastic 
off-road modes, different driving modes, uh, lane keep assist, your start stop, your air suspension so you can raise that up and down, you can even stiffen the suspension and then that switchable sports exhaust which will be difficult to pick up on the video but it does make quite a bit of difference to the noise the car makes when you turn that on and off. Lots of storage with the cup holders and the last thing I'll do inside the car is just open the roof so you can get a feel for what that looks like and then I'll just jump out now so you can see that roof up there. I'll just jump out and we'll summarise the car. So as we said at the beginning, two owners from new, uh, it is uh, covered by Porsche warranty until July of 2025 in Volcano Grey with some lovely cost options like the roof, the sound system, the stunning wheels as well. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped. Thank you very much for watching.